If he just takes a shot, he has a very small chance of hitting. And if he doesn't, then I'll use Scare next turn when the cooldown finishes. Alright, well that's, um, different. right there. I wonder if it affects him if I can't see him. something or what? Unfortunately, if I leave him in there, he'll be flanking me, so I need to figure out what to do. Alright, let's uh, wait a couple turns and get my scare back. Maybe I'll be fortunate to get this take a shot on. Let's try getting the Paladin XP. Maybe she'll get healing or something. They get an extra hit point. Hmm. 
Metallica's still brace. Then he's very good at just stopping right one shy, one turn, one spot shy of uh, where I can shoot them. He's an archer, right? Yeah, he is. Alright. Treat it as bait. I assume if she has lower probability, they might try to shoot her. So a bit late, a bit more ways to go. Nothing yet. We got another hit point, but that's all.
five. to me this turn, but if they do, I'll be ready. Oh yeah, he can't move anymore. Alright. So that was a, that was a bad move. But as I predicted, they weren't able to reach me. Okay, there's one right there, I think. So just a little bit longer, I guess. Four more skeletons in that next area. is definitely the party leader. Is it a bow? Okay, so I wonder if, can I... No. Alright, I must... Alright. I wondered if it like just went through walls. I guess in the last time I must have been able to see him or something? I don't know.
Oh, I wasn't trying to break the box. I was just trying to move the cover all around. Yeah, let me try something before I do it. I, I want it to be a surprise, but I don't want to die, so... Um... And try swap and then blink. So I'm gonna see if. Oh, can I just swap an? I can swap an object, huh? All right, so that's uh interesting. All right. So next turn I'll try it. So I want to see if I can swap place and then blink away. If that's the case, I'm going to drag the skeletons one by one over, over from that corner. So I'll practice with this. I'm going to use swap and I'm going to target, let's say, let's say this thing right here. And can I blink? Okay, I absolutely can. All right, so this is gonna really wreck their day. In fact, I can probably use that to block the entrance to things. I hope you have like a 15% chance to hit when I'm in full cover, because that's pretty much what I have. See, some damage happens before you get your turn, so if I just set you on fire, it should be good. Potion will blow up to the fire. Six, huh? 
Alright, so let's try this. I'll swap with you. And then I'll blink back. I don't know if kicking will do you any good right now, but I'm kind of worried about this weapon, so I'm gonna back off. Because I was disappointed in how the kicking worked against the spider. Blind you. Now I've got to kill him, because uh, next turn she dies, I think. She got three hit points, so she can grab that potion, but I gotta slaughter him now. And so, the mighty heroes vanquish their fearsome foes, each for their own lofty goals. Our bravery and triumph in the face of danger shall make the greatest of ballads, retold by dwarves and taverns and plays across the land in every city and village. Many ballads, plays, and even a finger puppet show were created in celebration of the incredible heroics of the mighty paladin and his sidekicks. His sidekicks? Most I, I, I really? I thought it was a... Most children's favorite part is when the paladin heroically slays the witch snake queen in a duel atop Mount Lava Doom, rescuing his companions from certain death. Some say the stories are embellished. Most people are fools and probably also just jealous. So, so many bones. Now I become famous jewelry designer. Have lavish life. The jewelry business went well until a nearby tribe opened a competing venue, offering low quality items for cheap. Upon investigating, the savage found this was due to goblin child slave labor. Her rage did not subside for a week until all the children were free. And the other tribe was never heard from again. I'm gonna buy a house in a nice deep forest and never talk to any of these dweebs ever again. The ranger took root in a deep uncharted forest. As time went by, she foiled many an evil plot by nefarious individuals. As they crossed paths with her home, she became a legendary protector of the forest, much to her chagrin. Now all creatures of the forest know that in times of dire need, they can make their way to her haven and disturb her until she discreetly opts to aid them. How am I still alive? Yikes! Well, this has been a real eye-opening experience. Stop digging on evil undead masters for one. Hmm, maybe I'll write a memoir. Gabarak became the wisest goblin chief, abolishing the old custom of minioning to abusive evil masters, thus leading his clan to greatly prosperous time unheard of in goblin history. It'll take years, but I'll explore these ruins and write a thesis on it, becoming the first academic in my family. 
The mage spent many years studying tirelessly, meticulously sorting information with little pay and fierce competition, but hey, at least the hours were flexible. Eventually she became the youngest professor in Gouliard's history to critical acclaim. The village attacks stopped once Claude was defeated. Merchants traveled the roads once again, and all was safe and peaceful in the realm. A small circle forms out of thin air. It grows slowly, larger and larger, eventually materializing into a portal to another location. Out of the portal extends a purple tendril, snatching Claude's corpse into the unknown. The villages... Okay, for now. Okay. So, uh... My paladin went is level 6 now, thanks to all the treasure chests. Leandra's my mage. She's kicking a lot of butt... <laughs> Garbrick, they can they not level up? He has 39 out of okay, I guess he can't, but uh, everybody else is definitely. Alright, so uh, I don't know if that's it, but that's all I've got time for, I think. That's more than enough for an episode, if not two episodes. Oh, no, that's it. That's it for the campaign. Those those, those other random chapters that uh, I believe are just sort of skirmishes. That was the pre-alpha of Fort Triumph version 0.5.3. We'll carry on and try out the skirmish modes as well. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching Tran Plays for Tryout. I'll see you next time.